SACounterculture.com here at Backstage Live. We are here for the Raw Artist Art Show. There's going to be some awesome artwork inside. Let's go have a look. Let's go see what's going on. All right. SACounterculture.com here with Rick. Rick, tell us a little bit about the paintings and drawings that you do. Well, a lot of what I do, I do a lot of celebrities. Uh, from the 50s and 60s, Elvis, Monroe, I'm just a huge fan. Um, so yeah, it, it influences me to just want to do them all. Like, I want to do every old time celebrity there is. And, uh, it's tough, but hey, it works. That's, how, long have you been, how long have you been painting? I've been drawing since I was 12 years old. I'm 28 now. Um, oh, me but too. portraiture has been tough. It's been extremely tough. It's something I've always wanted to master, yet I, I, I don't think I ever will, maybe one day, but I'm getting better, so it's, it's working out. Yeah, it's, it's good. And you have some um, paintings with uh, women, like nude, stuff like that. Do you have like friends that pose for you nude, or how do you, how do you even? Yeah, that's, that's interesting. It's, it's a lot of fun, for one, yeah. <laughs> then, of course. Uh, yeah, I do have a seduction series. It, it's the whole seduction thing, capturing the skin tones, posing, muscles, etc. It's more for anatomy. But um, yeah, it's attractive. It's eye catchy. Do those take the longest to finish? I think they do because you're always going back. You're seeing you're seeing a tone that's off and a muscle that may be off. So you're always going back. And I work with charcoals and pastels. Yes. So you're always kind of going back and messing with something, smearing it and smudging it again over and over again. So yeah, it's a long it's a long process. Your fingers get pretty black after that. If you were to see my wardrobe, I have muscle shirts that I work in. Yeah. And they're just all covered in black, and my hands, yeah, I'm always in black and white and gray, and, you know, always, I'll stop. I might even have, yeah, I might even have black on me now. <laughs> um, do you listen to any music when you're creating this? I do, sometimes. Yeah, what, what kind? For some reason, country gets me going. Are you serious? So, I'm a, I was raised out in the country, so yeah, okay. it, it gets me going. But, for the most part, I listen to a lot of Jack Johnson and Sublime. Oh. Okay, very cool. A lot of slow, soft, alternative. Uh-huh. Gets me in the mood, yeah. Very cool. And who's your favorite artist? Oh, um... That's you know, cool. honestly, it is a tough question, but I can't go and name anybody famous. I have to say it's a small-town local woman. Okay. Her name is Thelma Cardwell, as well as Sharon Cutzer, who I grew up with, who just taught me what I knew in high school, what I know in high school, and I just go off those fundamentals, and uh, great artists that inspire me with everything they do. Yeah. Very cool. And wh where else can we see your artwork? Um, Fine Art America, Divine Art, any social networking site there is. Okay. Um, I kind of don't mess with websites. I'm more social, so I do a lot of social networking. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks for hanging out with us, Rick. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Go check out his artwork, you guys. Check it out.